Right, I'm out here again for the third session with Coronation. Just put the saddle on just the way he was looking at the girth hanging down on the offside there. Makes me realise how much trouble he has having things behind him in the left, in the right eye, sorry. So I'm going to drive him around a little bit today and work on changing eyes from behind. So I noticed this morning as I walked past with the wheelbarrow from a distance, he sort of kicked out as he saw me change eyes, but I was a long way away anyway. But obviously that's a worry for him. So he's sort of trying to be with me because he thinks that might be comfortable, but he's still pretty afraid of stuff. Good boy. Just let him wear that. There we go. And so now the stirrups are banging around. You can see the way he's twisting his head there. He's trying to outrun that right stirrup. So that's little shiny stirrups got him scared. There we go, see, he really feels that maybe I can help him, but he's not sure that he can trust me anyway. Yeah, see, that saddle's pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah, I know, life's terrifying. I don't want to climb up there with that sort of uh, worry in him. So I may be able to get everything to stay still and not bounce around. Good boy. Good. That's good. That was good. So he just changed eyes then pretty right from one eye to the other. Let's see if I can push him around. Nope. Oh, that's all right. You can just wear that. Good boy. Good boy. Now yeah, let it fall off. You're going to ride a horse that's scared of things sort of behind him. It's a bit difficult to ride. And I could try and keep everything real quiet and sort of sneak on him. But if something happens that's out of my control, then he might do the same thing with me on him. And he didn't buck, but he would have fallen over just the same with me on. And this is good, getting used to this. Just coming in and laying on him there. Good boy. Good boy, yeah. drive you around. What I'd like to be able to do is sort of drive him around, maybe push him down the fence line until he picks me up in the other eye. But he'd be so worried. Nearly, nearly. Could you just go around the rail? And as soon as he sees me in the right eye, it's okay. As soon as he sees me in that right eye, I'm just going to walk away there and sort of 
draw him back. There, and just get him to realize it's not so bad. I can push you around. And you can turn. There we go. And just push him around, step into that eye, draw him back here. Good. See if we can do the same the other way. Push him around. You're going to go this way? Not that way. Not that way, eh? Not that way. This way. Good boy. Come on. He doesn't want me in that other eye so much, you know? If I can push him that way fairly easy, from the left side into the right. And then just step into this eye and draw on him. But the other way seems a lot harder to push him that way, so he just swaps sides on me. Come on, if I drive your hips from this side, your front end should come back towards me. So I'm walking up there. If I keep coming around, this nose should come around. There we go. And let me on that side, eh? Yeah, yeah, let me on this side. Let me on this side. Let me on this side. It's okay, you can let me on this side. Come on, you can step over. You can make it. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't block me. <laughs> you can't help it. He has to block me there. Come on. That's it. Put me in that other eye. Nearly. There we go. Come on. You're all right. Allow me to be in this eye. No, no. Don't block me like that. That's what he does when I try and put the halter on. You know, just twists his head that way. Hey, come on. Step through there. Step, step through there. Just don't bite me. He's pretty defensive about that. Here you go. There we go. There we go, I'll get him to turn back if I can, so I've got that round his rump. I'm trying to keep enough pressure on it to get him to turn left, there, and take the pressure off. Good boy. And let me throw that over. Yeah. Put it over the back again. And get him to face me, move the hips out. That side's working. Good boy. Hmm? Good boy. How about this side? You don't like me on that side much, huh? Don't like me on that side too much. Flick that over there. Let him wear it on that side. There we go. Send him back around this way. Good boy. around there. Put myself in this eye. Good. Pick up the slack. Change eyes. See if I can get on this other side and do it. Yeah, don't pull that way. Don't pull that way. Don't pull that way. I know, but don't pull that way. I know, it's terrible, but don't pull that way. Good boy. There you go. 
Take your feet this way. Take your feet this way. Come on. It's a little giveaway with the rope around the neck. You see with the halter on, I can pull his nose to the left and you, you don't actually see that his mind's trying to go the other way all the time. So if I just keep that pressure on his neck and wait for it there, wait for him to decide to bend his head to the left and stop walking forwards like he is there and always put that release in. Pick it up. If he looks to his left, no, you're pushing. Look to your left. There's a change. He's really worried about going on this side. Hey, there's another release. Give him a rub. Come on. Come through. Come through. There you go. Come on, you can do it. You sort of got to believe him a bit. When I pushed him a little early, he had a grab at me because he's really saying I just can't do this and you push me too hard I'm going to get really defensive come on you can take your shoulders this way see how he locks the whole front end up and because this is the side that I get on and off on and the side that if I'm in trouble I want to bend him on if he got a little lost and got to the point where he was going to lose it a little bit. I'd want to bend him and just take that out. But if it worries him, it's not going to be much help. It's going to make him worse. Come on, don't push on there. See, so don't push on there. Take your nose this way. That'll do you. Have a think. Amazing, you know, the other day when I got my foot in the steer up, I thought, oh, it might not be long before I can get on, but I keep finding little places that I, I'd like to get better before I get on. Could you just not brace that way? Good boy. Yeah, I do like you. I'm trying to help you. Could you step over? Good boy. That's backwards and over, but it's over. Could you step over? Come on, don't brace on it. Good fella, there. And he sort of, no, he did it for a little while, so he sort of kept me in that eye, there. He doesn't generally leave me there very long. He puts me back in this left eye pretty quickly. Could you learn to be there? Learn to be more confident. See, that's why the twist's in there. He just is always trying to keep me in his left eye. There we go. No, you're not going to keep putting me back there. And to start with, I would have probably let him do that just so he feels comfortable with me and then rub on him. Now I'm trying to build this up to have him there, let me stay on this side. There we go. Because my girth's white, you know, white cotton, and it was just hanging there before I got on. And he really had that look that he might not be able to stay there. He might have to jump out of there. Hello. Yeah, you're okay. Aren't you? Can you go around that way? See, I'm still trying to build up to driving him around and having him change eyes from this side. He just makes me go back and fix a few things. Can you just step across so that I could be almost behind the drive line, which is sort of pretty well behind the saddle horn, without you going backwards and without you leaving as soon as you step across. There you go, you can go around there. You can go around there. So he's not quite sure that he can go forwards without leaving. That'll do, that'll do. That was a try, he nearly got around. Good boy. Come on, you can make it. Neely, can you come around? I need your forehand to go to the left and then you can go forwards. There we go, you can go forwards. No, not backwards, forwards. Could you go left? Left, there's a fence coming, could you go left? There we go, keep going, keep going. 
There, and he's got me in that eye. That's what I was after. I'll leave that hanging loose there and just sort of drive him around to the left. Good boy. And then just take out the slack. You're going to wind yourself up. Can you come back the other way again for me? Good boy. Could you come off that field? There. Come on. All the way around. Can you move your hips? Can you move your hips out of the way? Hey. No, no. Move your hips out of the way. There you go. Good boy. In comparison, if we come back this way again, you see how easy it is on this side in comparison. Yeah? Send him forwards from here. It's fairly easy. Send him sort of round the fence. I've got to trust him a little bit because when you swap eyes, if he was really worried, that's when he's likely to lash out when he sort of picks me up in the other eye. Step over. Here's the fence you're going to get over. You can go around. You can go around, that's fine. There you go. Good boy. And you can come back again. There. Let him have a bit of a think. Funny, I come out here thinking, oh, I'll probably do a little bit of this and then get on and ride him, but he's not ready. There, you come this way, do this a couple more times, and then we'll. If it goes well, I'm much better stopping before anything else goes wrong. There we go. I've been able to drive from a distance and not have him run away from me is pretty cool. Can you step across? Go forwards. Go forwards. Try and give him enough rope here so that he, he can turn without scaring himself there. He had to come back pretty quick, but that's fine. There you go. Have a think. Good boy. If he was really well balanced, as soon as I stepped to the right, his nose would go to his left. See? There. That's good. And as soon as I stepped to the left, his nose would go to the right. So that's really good. This side still needs a little help, but that's good. And then he gets to read my body language and get ready to take his shoulders across that way. Same this way. Read my body language, push his shoulders across that way. This is starting to be a lot more solid, but I think we'll be doing a lot of this. Probably spend the next few sessions doing this, and then we'll film another session for you when I'm ready to get on him. There. There we go. Drive him around, sort of put energy in front of him, but push him forwards. Try and turn him that way. There you go. Now he's tipping his nose to the right. Come on, you can go. It's fine. You can go. He's not sure. You can go over there. There we go. And we'll go together on this rain. Good boy. There. Change it all around. Good. Yeah. See if it'll work without the rope. Sort of the rope's a bit of a safety net to just stop him from reacting too much. Can we go this way? There we go. Good boy. Okay. There we are. Good boy, that's it. Come back, so that's that side. And a bit of a think. You can really get fooled with this because he wants to face me. That's just another way of stopping me from getting behind him. I think he wants to be with me, but he just doesn't want me behind him. You go forwards. If I drive you forwards here and then sort of step over into that eye. Good. 
That's pretty good. And he'd be a lot more accepting of letting me climb on him when he's okay with things behind like that. But we're running out of daylight here, so rather than do something where I'm not going to get it finished, we'll just leave it at that. Good boy. Yeah. It's nice that he wants to be with me more now. Let's just grab the halter and see how he accepts it this time. You know, every day I've been trying to get this a little better. Where his head is on the left there, if he kept it there, or actually, if he helps me, I'll keep working on this so that he can actually bring his head and put it in my halter. Come on. You gonna keep it there? Hmm? Come on. Could you put your head this way and just annoy him a little? There's a little change, annoy him again. You gonna bring it this way? Hey, you can, there's a change. Come on. There we are. Still would like your nose and not just your, your neck to the left. Nose to the left. Nose to the left. Yeah, I might even drop that and walk away if you're going to bring your nose to the left. And the first time you catch him, you might put up with... There, that was nice. You can, oh, you've changed your mind. Come on. Need your nose over here. Come on. Hey. That's better. So it's sort of in the middle. It's not really on this side, but every time I release him, I tip his nose to the left and release him just to build that habit of where the halter comes off. Hopefully will be where the halter goes on if I keep on doing it. Okay, well he's fascinating to work with. So I hope you're enjoying watching as much as I am working with him. <laughs>